morning, sir. You just got back and you don't get to say anything. Hi, wrestling fans. I am Lewis, the Encyclopedia of Pro Wrestling. And Jay, the whiz kid of Pro Wrestling. Hey, and this is Evolution, Evolution of, of Pro, Pro Wrestling. Wrestling. Oh, it feels so good to be back. We are back, fans. And we're back in a big, big way. You know something that's not back, though, Dad? Your shirt. Where's your Evolution shirt? You know what? That's a, that's a good Where's your Evolution shirt? I, I, excuse me, fans. I got to go get my Where's shirt. Where's your Evolution shirt? I screwed up. What? Well, and you forget your Evolution shirt. Hold well, on to the fans, please. I'll hold off on the fans. What's up, everybody? Whoa. It has been a long, long time since we have been live for Evolution, man. It's been almost, if not two months, since we've been gone. You know, we had a lot of time to brainstorm a few ideas, a lot of time to do a whole bunch of things with everybody, and... Yeah, we got some good things in store for you guys, man. We have a lot of things going on. We have a lot of things that's going to happen. A lot of topics. A lot of great topics that we have coming up, you know. Today is not really one of those topic days. Today is more of a, you know, talk about everything that happened kind of day. You know, we're not going to get into full, full, you know, full speech with it yet until that comes. Yo, James Sargent, what's up? Uh, my dad went to go get a shirt because uh, <laughs> he forgot his shirt or his evolution shirt. So he went to go throw that on real quick. So um, I'm here, you know, talking to everybody while he's coming. Brother, up. brother, 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 brother. I didn't want to wear the, the evolution shirt, okay? I'm home 80 tonight. I'm showing old school still rules, damn it. <laughs> All right, dad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, wrestling fans, for joining us. It feels great to be back. We have a whole lot Definitely. of stuff to talk. Like, holy shit! What's up, Dave? Like, wow! Oh, bad. Like, stop hitting my table. Don't mess with my mic. Dude, fix my shorts. I'm sorry. Anyway, sorry. Um, so much has happened in professional wrestling. A lot. From releases to retirements to returns and to my new look. Surprises. You know, you know I have a new look. Uh, the the, the braids. You know, have the new look. Thank you, thank you for all the compliments. Thank you. I know I look amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You finished? Yes, can, I'm can finished. I, I was just, uh, you know, making people know that, making sure people knew I had this new hairstyle going on. You know what I'm saying? What, what, what the, 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 the braided, uh, the braided spot? Yes, the braided spot. So people can know that I got braids in my head. You, want, you get me? Get it? You finished? Good, you got it. See, the, the heel kid is back. Of course the heel kid is back. Jesus Christ. Back and better any, than any, ever. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Wrestling fans, we're going to start off. This is full, full wrestling. Full heel mode, mode Dave. You know the vibes. Full heel mode. Yes, Don't, exactly. don't, don't, don't encourage this. Thank don't, you, don't Dave. Don't encourage you know this. It. You know the vibes, Dave. Don't encourage this. You know it. Come on now. Okay. So... We start off this show red hot. Vince McMahon is gone. Retired. Whoa. Like, <laughs> what has happened? That caught like, me off. Nobody thought. Exactly. Vince retires. Vince. Play his last match. WWE in a new direction. AEW status. Like, holy the, shit. The, the, the person that has full control over WWE Listen, creation, Vince McMahon, man. Vince McMahon is gone. He's oh out of the picture. He retired. That's due it. to a certain scandal that hit. A whole bunch of shit came out. Like, damn. Dude, that'll, but yeah, there's no coming back from that. Triple H taking over head of creative control, and then now is the CCO. Pretty much he's in charge he's of every freaking thing. Everything, in profession, man. In WWE. Oh, my Since God. This man has been back. Dexter Loomis back in a big way, better way, more creative. Braun Strowman oh, back. back. That shit took the wrestling world by Mysterio was a heel. We're going to get into that. Into Clash, of, into Clash of the Castle in, 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 in its entirety. But I thought Vince would have died before he retired too. No, I'm not even going to lie. I thought this man would never retire. But it seems like we all seem different because he retired about time. It took so long. And we kept saying it. Everybody kept saying it. Make Triple H the head of WWE. Exactly. And it finally happened. Aleister Black coming back, I do think that's a strong possibility. I think there's no, a lot of, of, I think a lot of people coming Alistair back. Aleister Black I was think, released out of his contract. He was, he was released. He was let go. It would be perfect to bring him back to the WWE 
Either put him in Judgment Day or put him to feud with Edge. I would love to see him feud with Edge. Like, those uh, so two a would new have... NXT coming, there is a lot happening, man. Oh, yeah. Triple H is cleaning... How, he is cleaning up WWE right Listen, now. Listen, he brought, he brought back... He is cleaning He brought back the Code Kai. Like, Vince, Vince retiring was actually a good thing. Like, the way it brought him... Like, the way Triple H's mind came like wow right it was uh, excuse me fans i'm sorry my director's talking to me it should be up top there uh, man i'm sorry i'm having I, I'm, I'm all screwed up today i came back i forgot my book i forgot to, to bring everything like it was just i was bad i was bad i'm sorry i'm a bad host and here's my uh my, my little son evan this is a future uh, host of Evolution of Pro Wrestling. So uh, as you see, we keep it in the family. Thank you, thank you, honey, thank you, honey, thank you. So we have our list here of everything that has happened. I did it. You have Vince being gone. Vince being gone was like, insane. With, with, with Vince being gone, now WWE can be good again. Bradley, what's up, man? Welcome. Um, yes. WWE can be good again. It can be and good again. Excited. And listen, I'm not going to lie. I have not stopped watching Monday Night Raw since Triple H has taken control. Oh my god, WWE has been absolutely astronomical, amazing since Triple H has taken over and I am so happy. It makes me want to watch Monday Night Raw again. I was never the type of person to actually sit down and watch Monday Night Raw through the whole thing, but these Monday Night Raws recently have been pitch perfect. Triple H definitely knows the business and i'm glad they chose he was the he was the one to take over wwe i'm so glad that mm -hmm. happened because the company is going well like we like we always said there's always an ace in the hole there was always, always an ace in the always, hole with wwe always, and that always. ace in the hole was triple h listen triple h always had a creative mind oh, that's one thing i enjoyed about about triple h is that with him you give him the opportunity, he's going to do it. Of course. He's going to do it. That's what he does. You know what I mean? And now that Vince McMahon is gone, more exactly, more people can start coming back into the WWE. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And WWE has made some big moves. You know, they unified the, the NXT World Heavyweight title with the NXT uh, UK title. You know, uh, Worlds Collide, the same thing with the women's title. A lot of things are happening now. Lifted, uh, Triple H yes, a, a new member to the bloodline, to the Dominic Clash of, Clash of the Castle Fallout. By far, one of the best events I've ever seen. Like, holy shit. Man. Walter Gunther, excuse Gunther. me, and Sheamus? That was a That <laughs> match was <laughs> brutal. Like, That's brutal. all I heard the whole like, Listen, Sheamus got. Listen, I was never a Sheamus fan. Sheamus got my respect that match. Sheamus has my all-time respect. I always looked at Sheamus like, oh, this man is too weak. He gets injured too much. Sheamus did his thing in that match. Sheamus was taking them bull hammer slaps. No, he was taking a lot. He was he taking, was taking those a hits. lot of shit that was, yo. He was. I gotta, hit. I gotta give it to but Sheamus. It was. Man. It was a know, great like, match. It was. It, that was a great match. Like the the pay per view alone was good. And then say, Solo Sioki. The newest member of the bloodline. Oh my god. The, that's, the that's, brother that's, that's the of the Usos. Usos younger like, brother. Like you hit they hit the it perfect. The newest member they of the They hit it perfect man. on the he nail with that. He didn't come in and attack and I wasn't walking. I wasn't there. Exist, I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting that at all. And yo, like shit. I wasn't either. I wasn't Listen, expecting I, that. that at I, all I would either. I wouldn't say match of the year, Dave. It was a hell of a match. But to me, Walter, okay, that's, to me personally, it's a candidate, maybe. To me personally, the match of the night was Seth Rollins and Riddle. That match was Matt Riddle. Wow, that These match two nice. literally freaking hate each other. Like, they can't stand each other. They hate each other's guts. And they had beef going back to 19, uh, uh, 2019 because apparently Matt Riddle's ex-wife had uh, mentioned something to, um, to his wife. To Becky Lynch, mm. and we like, oh shit, like, damn. They and, and he he said it. He said it in an interview I saw yesterday that he can't he can't stand them. Like he likes them professionally. You know he can wrestle with them. He can work with them. But he would not at all want to deal with him. 
because he was an asshole. <laughs> you know? Right. And that's something you don't do. And speaking of assholes, CM Punk. All out, fall out. What in the blue hell are you doing, CM Punk? Like, come on, my man. Like, you for real? You're bitching and complaining and like, ah, who are the EVPs and F and this and F bombs and F that? Like, come on, man. You're a professional. You're you're carrying a world title and you're 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 holding a world title for a brand company, and then all of a sudden you pull this shit. Like, come on, that come on, man. Too much. see a bitch, exactly. <laughs> see a bitch. Triple you H know. will not hire. And listen, guys, uh, for those know. who are watching. Viewer discretion is advised. We are TV 14. No politics, no bullshit, just straight pro wrestling. Yeah. See him cry, baby. See him cry, baby. That's what he is because that's what he does. The thing that happened with CM Punk is that he felt, okay, man, you know, I'm, I'm a world champion. I'm, I'm uh, the, the best there is. My man, this is not WWE. You didn't have, you had that freedom in WWE. And yes, Dave, he has to go. He does have to go. He has to go. You know, you, you need to build your stars. You know what I mean? And then you coming off, and, and then you go after the the executive vice presidents, Kenny Omega, the, the Pat Buck, the Young Bucks. Like, you, so many people were involved. I'm talking about um, Brandon Cutler, um, Michael Nak Nakazawa. Nakazawa. Um, there was a lot of people. Christopher Daniels. All these people were involved in this brawl. You will never be Brett. Sorry. No, absolutely not. You will ever absolutely be not. That's not even a question. No, that's not, even, that's a not even a question. That's not even a that's debate. That's not a question that's at even, all. That's not even a debate. He will never. He will be never be a Bret Hart. Never be a Bret Hart. No. CM Punk. Listen, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Bret Hart bitches too, but CM Punk. I'm he, about he, to he's say CM Punk. He just. He goes above and beyond. Like, I don't understand. Say, like, <laughs> he doesn't care about the AEW title. He he just cares about the stardom. He can like give it. What was the reason you, you you put Hangman Page to lose that damn title? Why? Because you wanted to satisfy CM Punk. The hell was CM Punk? CM Punk sucks, and he needs to retire. And you know why? Because he couldn't make it in the UFC. He got knocked the hell out twice and couldn't do it. <laughs> And I don't care if he's watching the show or not, which he probably isn't because he, we're little people to him. I'm about to say, but he sucks. Small to him, but he, he sucks. He was terrible in the ring. He couldn't do it in that type of platform. There was no way, no way, shape, or form he was able to. do I was it. never a big fan of CM Punk from the beginning. Even no. since WWE no. days, I was never really a super. Exactly, big fan total of loss of respect. Lost my respect for CM Punk. Christopher Brown but says uh, problem with that Lewis is that Tony only gives a shit about names who can make him money. To him, that's the that be the end of all the business. Exactly, and that's hey, gonna be, Ken, thank you, thank you. It's good to be back. back. Thank you, thank you. And that's gonna be the downfall of AEW. Exactly. When he realizes gonna, that there's only well, a well, few well, the the title has been vacant, but that's probably due to CM Punk I'm also CM in Punk. that brawl like a dumbass got <laughs> hurt and is out six to nine months with a torn biceps. They better fire that man. They need to. He doesn't even need they to be need in the business to. anymore. They need to. He has no he business. He doesn't need to be there. In he the business. To he doesn't he need to, to be there anymore. He just needs to, yeah, exactly. What up, what's up with CM, exactly, we're discussing it right now. CM Punk is a baby, he's a whiner. Kick him to the curb, Johnny. Kick him to the curb. Next row, Johnny. Oh, thank you. <laughs> exactly. So come on, man. But it, it, it's 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 crazy how so much and, and mind you, um, Bobby Fish, Bobby Fish, a former of a WWE superstar NXT, he had mentioned he had problems with CM Punk. Like this man had beef with almost everybody in that locker room. CM Punk was like that at WWE. He had a lot. Samoa so Joe is back. Interesting. He I believe he was hurt. Uh, Ken says they are all going to Triple H. Just watch. Roman will be gone. It's time to let people shine. Of course, Roman is going to be gone. It's gonna at WrestleMania. Roman is gonna. He's either gonna get win the. He's gonna win the match against the Rock, which we know probably he's gonna fight the Rock, and then he's going to uh, drop the title to somebody. Which my question is, who? Who do you? MJF think is back. That's another pipe bomb. Who do you think is deserving of the title at the moment? I mean, a lot of things can change from now yeah. to WrestleMania, but at this very moment, who do you think is worthy of the title? You, to be honest, to be perfectly honest with you, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but I would turn him into a face. I would say Austin Theory. I would say Austin Theory. I know that. I know that's a bold prediction, but Austin Theory has that way of getting to people. 
And so if he has that way of getting the people, why does he need to be a face? Because with that attitude, he can win the fans over. He won the fans over now as a heel. Imagine a face. Look at Kevin Owens. Kevin, the, 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 the prize fight is back. Like, I'm loving Kevin Owens. Like, Kevin Owens is, like, challenging everybody and fighting and kicking ass and doing all over the place. And it's like, damn. Like, holy shit. Excuse me, friends. I got to get some water. My, my, I'm parched. <laughs> continue, Jay. Continue, Jay. <laughs> A broad baker. Yeah, but um, I don't know. I really, like I said, I can't really say Ron right Baker. now. Ron Baker. Ron Baker. NXT. I that's a... There's a lot of NXT stars Triple H is bringing up, too. And Listen, he brought back Bailey, Dexter Loomis, Dakota Kai, Johnny Gargano. He brought Imperium back. Braun Strowman, like... That Braun Strowman one. Yo. That was crazy. I was watching line, that, The storyline with Dexter Loomis and Miz, classic. Total classic. I love the stalking, the way he's doing it. And that's the first time I've seen Miz in an actual good storyline yeah. like that. It's been yeah. a long time exactly. since exactly. the Miz has been in something that good. And you know, and you know what else hasn't been done a long time? That our wrestling <laughs> fans haven't shared our content all over social media. Bring everybody in with top wrestling news. We're speaking about everything for the past two months that we I, haven't been I here. I said that yesterday. The Fiend is coming back. The Fiend, of course is the Fiend. Definitely But before the Fiend comes back, you guys need to come back and come share our content and share it all over social media. Thank you. No politics, no Bullshit, just straight pro wrestling. Us, that's thank you. Triple H, Triple H knows the he business. He knows the business. Triple H, that's why we're so hyped for WWE because Triple H actually knows the business. Triple H knows what our, us WWE fans want. He knows what we like to watch. It doesn't matter if he brings in NXT stars. He likes giving the new talent some shine, and that's. Ooh, excuse me, and that's what I respect about Triple H. So yes, I am absolutely pumped that WWE is getting back to the way, you know, it's, it's going back to a skyrocketing stage, and I'm happy for that. Like I said, WWE always has an ace in the hole, and that ace in the hole this time was Triple H. Of course, and that and that's what that's what makes it so special. That even though that yeah, they gave Roman the uh, Brock Lesnar treatment now. Um, he still manages to come up with some amazing storylines. Like, shit. Like, he got the, the mind he's putting together, the show he's putting together, and Judgment Day with, listen, with Dominic now as a heel. Oh, shit. Yo, I was waiting for that. I was waiting for that heel to happen. Like, All right, like, damn. <laughs> like, damn. I was waiting for it, and it happened. And now, he doesn't even talk. He doesn't even talk, and we all know though. Listen, it, it was kind of obvious. The moment, the moment I seen Dominic with a mohawk, I knew he was gonna be. Oh a man! They were just they were Eddie Eddie Guerrero man Yo, Eddie Guerrero foreshadowing. I knew he was gonna be a the way heel, he came man. out with, with Rhea Ripley. Like I knew he was gonna be a Chris heel. Says, uh, hey Lewis, what's going on, brother? Long he time has, no here. He literally has that classic Eddie Guerrero hairstyle. Jaden, uh, uh, Christopher Brown says, Jaden, if Hunter knows what we want, though, shouldn't he know by now that we want a ball gagging and duct tape around us promos? <laughs> no, no. It's good that you bring in, <coughs> you bring in up Ronda Rousey. Triple H has been thinking because there's talk that he is going, she is going to be paired with none other than my name is Paul Heyman. Really? Yes. Whoa. I, 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 I read through sources that there is a possibility that Ronda Rousey is going to be put with Paul Heyman. That would be if amazing. they were to put that woman with Paul Heyman, holy shenanigans. Her career was skyrocketing. Her career was skyrocketing. Her career was skyrocketing. She won't even have to say a damn word. Dom is a great story. We want to see what happens there. Yeah, yes, I like, I like, I I like that too. Listen, it's inevitable. Father and son have to fight. Father and son have to freaking fight. And this goes, this goes way back. Dude. Yeah, no, they got to fight. They, they go got to go at it. Way back. They gotta, they All the way from when Eddie and Mysterio yeah, fought. No, Dom they, was they, even in that. That oh, goes man. way back. Way back. That was inevitable for sure. You know, I'm, I'm definitely eager to see... What but this storyline is perfect, man. I'm so happy they made him a heel. Mm -hmm. It was about time they did that. And they did it at the right time. Of course. Too. I feel like it wasn't of too course. early or too late. Exactly. They did it exactly. on perfect timing. Exactly. And that's what that's what counts. That you that now you, you see you knew what the fans want. You knew you were gonna see that heel turn, but when? 
and the Clash of the Castle was perfect. And when I saw that, I'm like, yes, yes. I was like, oh, and it surprised I the shit out of me. It. I couldn't believe it either. I'm no, like, it surprised what? the shit out of me. But you know what else surprised me? JBL picking up Happy Corbin. What's that about? What does that mean? Hmm. What was that about? Was that meaning that JBL is going to manage Happy Corbin? Are we going to see JBL back in the WWE? What do you What do you guys think about that? I think it's possible with the strings that Triple H is pulling oh, right now. Man. Bradley, that's possible. a good one. Ronda and Shayna with Paul Heyman. Oh, wow. that would be a beast team right there, man. Dave says I will mark when he calls Ripley Mamacita. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool. If he does that, that would be New Corbin, so yes. New Corbin. New Corbin. Because now he's going to teach him about the money. Like, you're yeah. an American and you can make uh, X amount of dollars. No, yeah. I don't think he's going to do that. I think, you know, JBL is going to teach him, you know, his ways. I don't think he's going to do that. I think he's going to turn uh, Corbin into, you know, this trash-talking god. He's already a trash-talking god. Well, he's going to... He's gonna, Amplify it. He's gonna make it stronger. He's gonna, you know, bring that other Corbin out of him. He's gonna bring that Corbin back that we all wanted to see. So I'm, I'm intrigued by this. I really want to know what that means. When he went into I JBL's, know. I know he went limo? into JBL's limo. I'm like cocky Corbin. That would be funny. Probably, if they really probably. Now, now let me ask you guys a question. You guys saw all out. I know most of you saw all out. Mm -hmm. He said, uh, get Glenn said, Ken says, uh, so glad you guys are back. Don't always agree, but love you guys. <laughs> it's good. Go to disagree. No, no, no. no, but, no but see, no, no, no. But see, but see, good that's though. the beauty of being a wrestling fan. That you can say what's on your mind and not, get, not, and not get offended because we know we understand each other. About the Whether same. we don't like your opinion or not, we still understand each or other at least because it's professional we're two, wrestling. We're two people that don't get offended. No. See, most people nowadays, we enjoy it. Most we people enjoy nowadays fans, get offended if you say something they don't like. Oh, yeah. They be like, excuse me. That's, that's this world. You know, we like uh, wrestling and we don't mind. Christopher Brown says, here's the X Factor for the Dom Ray storyline. He said, you see those two cutting a promo in the ring when all of a sudden on the mic in the gorilla, excuse me, right before a certain someone comes through that door. Don't, don't put it past. Don't put it past. It's possible. That it's possible. Yo, don't knock it. Agree to it's disagree. Possible. Exactly, Bradley. We agree to disagree. Don't what knock happens? it. It no, is this possible. Is, that would be epic. It's possible. That would be epic. <laughs> It is said, I'm not offended. I identify as I identify has has a tree. tree. Absolutely. Listen, we respect it. We respect your opinion. It. Yeah, I exactly. respect that was it's all in good fun. And fun. we enjoyed it. But listen, that would be epic. That would be with epic. that Vicky with, with Vicky Guerrero coming back and doing some shit like that. Oh, oh I remember I see that live. Yo, I think I see that live one I would time jump. Long. I would jump. Vicky Guerrero kills me, man. Excuse me. I would jump. I would for start. Haven. I would. Seriously, I would start jumping for jump. Oh man, it and would be so crazy to see her back. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> it I'm would just, be I'm wild. just I'm laughing out because I'm thinking about it. It's how possible, man. Vicky and Chavo. Chavo. Oh hell yeah! I would love to see. Hell yeah, Chavo that back. would be awesome. But but supposedly uh, Chavo Guerrero is still negotiating with. Uh, <clears throat> With AEW apparently to return there. I'm, I'm not sure why. He the, the, the news that's been going on in AEW, a eh? he could always have a change of mind. Listen, the, AEW, the, the, listen. the wrestling business works in mysterious listen, ways, AEW, and we know this. AEW has the talent. They have the talent, and I'm glad that finally they took the damn title off of that CM Punk, <laughs> CM Puta, <laughs> and he now you're gonna have competitors actually fighting for the title. You're gonna have um, Brian Danielson, John Moxley, Chris Jericho, Sammy Go uh, Guevara, Hangman Page, and Darby Allen. Like, damn. Three, three of uh, three. Most people are Most of these guys now. that are in this. Too. Most people, a lot of people are gonna leave now. If CM Punk doesn't S this too, I feel like this, CM Punk okay, Br is Bradley, toxic to the AEW. Bradley, I'm gonna agree to disagree with that. I feel like if CM Punk leaves, then maybe majority of the people will stay due to the fact that they know they will probably have a title shot. If he stays, there will probably be a lot of people leaving or demanding to get out of their contract. That's just what I think. So if CM Punk was to perhaps stay in the company, 
there would be a lot of releases or a lot of people leaving. And if they don't, if he doesn't, leave, if he does leave, then of course, you know, there will be more opportunities for people to get the title. So, well, well they, Dave, me. Dave is a huge AEW fan, and you're absolutely right. That was a perfect way to to get back on track with putting those matches again together with those stars. Because, like, damn, build your stars. Don't be a WCW. Don't go ahead and buy and get all this WWE talent and then think this is not 1998. It's not going to work. It's now. not going to work this, this is a time. Whole other generation. Whole exactly. Whole, whole different, different generation. generation. It's like, not. That's not going to work anymore for sure. We're in a whole new generation, and that's not going to slide anymore mm -hmm. because there's a lot of new talent coming into the wrestling business, and it's their turn to shine. Exactly. All of the veterans got their turn. Exactly. They got their shine. Now it's the newcomers' exactly. turn. Exactly. Exactly. It's their time to shine. Exactly. It's their time and, to And that's fans. the issue. And, and yes, Dave, Punk will cause fans to tune out. He will. Because he is an asshole. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's a jerk. He whines too much. You don't that's care bad. about the business. Yes, Def, uh, we were going to mention that. Death Triangle as the trios are great as well. They won the tag, the, the trio tag team titles. Yep, they did. So they took on the, um, I forgot who was the team they were facing yesterday. Jeez, uh, so guys, help me out. I, I totally forgot. I know it was, was uh, Pac-Man and uh, Lucha Bros. I forgot what was the other, t the trio tag team. If you guys can mention it, please. Time to pass the torch. Exactly. Time to pass the torch. It was time to pass the torch a long <clears throat> time ago for these new generations. But, you know, like I said, the wrestling business works in mysterious ways. Best friends. There you go. Best friends. The wrestling, you never know what happens in the wrestling business. Unless it's... Now, there was something interesting I heard yesterday in Dynamite. And Dave, I know you heard this. MJF threatened to win the AEW title and take it to the WWE he mentioned working with Vince like he broke the fourth freaking wall like he he went in like listen knowing the strings Triple H has now I feel like there could be a crossover with WWE listen, and AEW that would be it's a, it's, it's a awesome, really really awesome really strong possibility event. now with the strings Triple H like, is pulling right yo. now to have a crossover I think, it, event, I think it'll happen I think it, it will either happen either Rumble or Rumble or, or maybe Survivor Series. I, I don't think care. It, Just I do think it. it will happen. In the do it. I put, no, no, no. Forget I think. I know it's going to happen. Oh, yeah, Mr. Hill Kid? I know it's going to yeah? happen. How you know that? You, you psychic? Nah, I'm just smart. <laughs> I, I, know. I, I know. I know things. The mind of a, a wrestling fan. Hi, right, Hill Kid. <laughs> Wait, was it good? Yes, it was good. <laughs> He mentioned working with the game. Yes, he sure did. That's what I'm That's saying. What I'm saying. Don't like, knock yo, it. I'm telling you, it's gonna happen in the future. You, yo, you yeah. got, you got to. You, if yo, if you do that, you, wrestling will make a shitload of money to start off with. Plus, definitely. Plus, you know the publicity. Be a great run up. MJF will have a mega heel heat. Definitely. You know the MJF publicity? surprise entrance Royal Rumble. That would be oh, insane. Oh man, that would be that insane. Would be insane. Like Man. the fans would go crazy. That even got me thinking. Like, <laughs> woo! Oh, oh my god! No, 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 no! Got no. me thinking about that. Well, now, man, it's possible. But you can't think too much. You know why? Why? Because we're about to make the fans think. Because someone in this uh, chat has requested that just one time and one time only. Evolution of Pro Wrestling brings a trivia question. Did you have to touch me to tell me that? Yeah, I just want to shove you a little bit. <laughs> Good to be back. Okay, wrestling fans, I'm gonna give you one oh trivia question. Imagine him also joining JBL. Imagine Man, him also. Joining. Imagine uh, for real MJF, MJF is money. And that he is dollar signs. That is dollar sign. Equals That's money. Dollar. A lot signs. of that. Exactly. Equals dollar signs. Let it shut down. Now, here's my question. What's your question? <laughs> I'm gonna sip on my water while you ask this question. Hmm. Ready? You sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. At WrestleMania 8, who sang the national anthem? Mm -hmm. You okay? It was really great. MJF versus The Miz, that would be, those two would, would, would cut so much crazy promos, it's like, damn. A promo battle for sure. See, that's the question. Who was. 
Who's saying the national anthem the at WrestleMania 8? JBL, Corbin, MJF, and someone else. What would they call? What would we call them though? We can <clears> call them Money Inc. There's already a Money Inc. Right? I don't know. A Money Inc. That, that's a good question. What about uh? Um, I don't know. I don't know what we call them though. You guys get more creative with me. Well, the the new corporation just sounds good. The new corporation does sound pretty good. Are you sure? <coughs> Stop coughing. Stop coughing. How am I supposed to? Would you like to open my body and take all the fluids out of me? Sure. What? Be sure. This ain't Mortal Kombat. All right, son. All right. Back to the fans here. Wrestling fans. Reba, Reba McIntyre. There you go. See, that's a true wrestling fan. I don't know who that is. That's uh, a, a famous uh, country singer. I will look famous country singer. said it too. All right. Yeah. Back to our uh, scheduled program. Thank you. Um, so, Jaden, what do you think? Of the current state of professional wrestling right now. Like you got New Japan, you got NWA, you got Impact, you have AEW, WWE, MLW. Like I what lie. do you think is going on right now? Do is professional wrestling back on the scene? I feel like Are yes. people talking about it again? I feel like professional wrestling is indeed back on the scene. <clears throat> and I only say that due to the fact that WWE is back on the scene. And no matter how many people disagree with me, WWE is the father of every single wrestling company out here. Of course. If WWE is not talked about, then nine times out of ten, none of the other companies are going to be talked about. Listen, there was an interview. There was an interview. That's just facts. There was an interview with, with Triple H. Triple H said it. I'm not doing all this stuff. I'm not taking talent back. I'm not doing this to get back at AEW. AEW beat our developmental show. Good for them. But they never beat Monday Night Raw. They never beat SmackDown because they don't have the resources to do it. They might have the talent, might have the talent if they use it right. But doing all these damn factions and doing all this bullshit, it's not gonna work. I'm about to say he's making too many factions and too many people be. You're trying to, to let. Like, you're trying let, to let let these singles people be themselves. Let them be their own character. And I feel like that's what Triple H is doing now. He's letting these wrestlers. Be who they exactly. want to be. Exactly. WWE is it, it, one thing. The name says it's still about the same amount of fans, but it's deeper now. And WWE is coming back from the dead, Bradley, for sure. And, and Triple H is making that completely, completely possible. And he said it. Vince McMahon told me, in other words, do what you would do. Don't do what I would do. And the moment he took over, the shit hit the fan because. Everything started happening. You saw Dexter Loomis. You saw freaking uh, Dakota Kai come back uh, at SummerSlam. And like you see all that. And you're like, shit. He already, he's already begun. Right. So like, damn. I'm happy. Me too. I'm excited. I'm excited for it. Wrestling fans, tell us so far, what has been your best moment that you've seen since Triple H has taken control of professional has wrestling? Jaden, what are your thoughts on that? Um, what have you liked so far since he's taken control of WWE? Since he's taken control of WWE, I've liked everything. Like, I like how much talent he's bringing back. I like how he's making the talent. Let them be themselves. A whole bunch of heel turns going Carrie on right Cross. now. Karrion Cross. Karrion Cross. Karrion Cross also Karrion came back. Cross. Like, the man has a whole new attitude. He, had, he has a leather jacket, hair slick back. He has Scarlet with him. Like... Shit! You, you, <laughs> exactly. You see how he came, and then, boom! Wow! He went from a gladiator to carrying cross. cross. Exactly. The killer, like ready to take the title from anyone, whether it's Drew McIntyre or Roman Reigns, the Tribal Chief, whoever it is. I love this new attitude that Carrion Cross has. It's 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 fire. You know, I mess with it. It's fuego. No, it's it's listen. We need to see more stuff like this. Of course. We need to and see more stuff like this. And I think we will like continue this. to see more stuff like this since Triple H is in charge. Well, listen. If <laughs> I can, and he said it. I, I could already see The Fiend coming back. And because Triple H said it, he has one of the most craziest, sadistic, but incredible creative minds. 
with Bray Wyatt. He loves working with him. Bring him back. Chills, man. Oh, Bring him back. oh my God. Like, Triple H, man. If this guy brings The Fiend back. Yes, I would push Gunther. I would push, I would push Gunther too. to go after Roman. Really? Yep. Have, Imper- think, have Imperium worthy. take on the bloodline. I think he's worthy. KO, too. Give him a push, too. Kevin Owens deserves a push, too. Like, the prize fighter is back, and I'm, I'm loving it. Yeah. I'm loving it the way he's fighting now. And this is what I'm saying. Uh, Dave, Dave mentioned that AEW did beat NXT. Of course. But that's their development. I'm about time. to say I'm that's development. They have not beaten Raw. Smack that. I'm about to say it's good. They should be beating NXT if anything. They should be worried if they're not hey, beating Tyler NXT. says, what do you think about the plans are for Austin Theory? Well, right now, Austin Theory is losing a whole shitload of matches. I'm about to say, I haven't really heard so, much. He could get a redemption, though, in the future. But yeah. like I said, right now, uh, well, as we've seen before, Vince McMahon had all of his attention on Austin Theory. So now... Before nah, I feel like man. I feel like Change now man. before he jumps into this whole Austin Theory thing, he's gonna give other people a chance right now. You know, Triple H is really smart. Mm-hmm. Triple H is slowly bringing everybody's he's, ratings you know, back he, up, and then exactly. you know, once the ratings are high, is when the he's ratings, gonna get some listen, real the ratings stuff. have been off the charts. Well, 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 Over two million plus fans really? have been watching. Now that Triple H has taken over, many fans are watching. I think you know. More, I think also too more of the uh, the population now for WWE is slowly turning back to adults because in the PG or in that PG era, you know Vince McMahon, you know was I guess kid friendly, mm-hmm. so a lot of kids were in the WWE. Now it might be a you know a mainly adult only audience that's watching WWE. Well, well, listen, you you definitely hit the noggin there because when we when I saw Clash at the Castle. And I saw Seth Rollins and, and Matt Riddle. Did you see that promo? I seen it. Yo. I was, I was like, whoa. Oh, God, they, like, they went over. Like, <laughs> over the top. Like, Riddle said, oh, I'm going to prove to you that the only man in your marriage is Becky. And that shit pissed Seth Rollins and then, off. And, and Seth he Rollins said, said, oh, oh my He God. said, Riddle, you still there? He said, yeah, I'm still here. Um, let's talk about your family. He said, wait, you ain't got one. Cause your your ex wife divorced you and took her kids and left your bitch ass. I'm like, I'm like, what? <laughs> like, what? Like, that holy cow! That caught me off guard. Like, and then yo, was like, like, and Riddle went off. And, and Riddle and was that, really that was he was work. throwing that was F bombs. That he wasn't was a work. He was really throwing like, he was F bombs. Like, he, he was really, really pissed off. He was really like, yo. They went in. They only censored it because it was live TV. But Matt Riddle was really throwing yeah. F-bombs at Seth Rollins. Dave says, I want to see what the live audience will be for house shows now. It was down, but it probably will change. It probably, it will, probably change. will change. It probably will. You know what I mean? Vince McMahon, he, he, it, his time was done. He, yeah, he, he needed, needed to, to go. Retire. And then, like I said, he with that scandal that happened, my man, you, gonna get, you were going to get that boot kick. I'm about to say, he was going to... It was either... You know, Vince McMahon kind of did use his head finally because I feel like it was either he left or the company was just going to go into shambles due to the thing he done. Mm-hmm. So I felt like if he wouldn't have left the no, company, and a lot of people WWE wouldn't have been and where it's at right now. A lot of people took the fall. Like John Laurinaitis was fired. Uh, a couple other writers were fired. People were fired. People were gone. And now that he's out the picture, you don't need to worry about that anymore. You know, Stephanie McMahon is in charge, Nick Khan. And I think Nick Khan is co-CEO because of Vince McMahon. He probably, okay, let me give him my share or whatever. I don't know what the hell happened there. Triple H is still It would have been better if Trible. Triple H is C- and, and, and Stephanie would have been co-CEO. But That would have like, been pretty cool, too. What do you think of NXT talent storylines? They're pretty good. They, they're getting better. They're pretty good. They're getting better. Now that Triple H has that control again. Control again. He has control again. Now with the unification. With the unification titles, you know, unfortunately, UK is gone. You know, there's no more NXT UK. So that's probably why Imperium returned. But the way things are going on now, Triple H has that mindset. About, exactly. Pete Dunne, I guarantee you, Pete Dunne is going back. to yep. come back to NXT Definitely. as the, the, the brawler. Like, the Pete Dunne. They're going to take that silly-ass character that he has, which I, I couldn't stand. That freaking Butch. She was stupid. Right. Um... But I'm liking NXT storylines, and and then now Mandy Rose too is the women's champion. They couldn't. I I think Mandy Rose belongs in NXT. I think in so WWE too. they would use Vince McMahon was was using her 
ridiculous. We're about to say he did. And I think what do, what was happening now <coughs> is Triple H is building up her character again to possibly bring her back in the future. I think she's. I think she will. I think she will be on back on the WWE card eventually in the future. But like you said, the, you know Triple H is probably trying to build. He's trying to get her redemption. You know she really didn't do anything when yeah, he was married. Yeah, it will be going NXT Europe. Uh, that, that's what they have mentioned. That's pretty interesting, though. I want to see how that pans out now. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm not it's, mad at that. I want to see how that pans out. Listen, WWE right now is... It's not fully, fully up there. Definitely. They're, they're there. Back, they're they're there. Back. They're climbing, they're climbing, the, top, climbing to the, back top. To the rankings. Because the only thing that, that has me kind of puzzled is that I'm an old school kind of guy. You got to have a world champion on your show every time. Raw and SmackDown. I'm not. I'm not with the Roman Reigns not being on the show as a champion. You come like maybe once a month, with maybe whatever. I can't. I can't. I can't. Do True, it. but I don't think it's time yet. I don't think it's time for another person to get the title yet because, like I said, there is a lot that can happen from now to the course of the Royal Rumble to WrestleMania. <clears throat> And we all know, the people in this chat right now, and me and you, and the rest of the WWE fans know that Triple H is not done cleaning up WWE. Of course we, not. But we both know that he is still, on the, he's probably on the phone with someone <laughs> at, at this moment. Like, he's probably getting someone in the WWE at this moment. So I feel like, like I said, there's a lot that can happen from then, from now, all the way to, to when that time comes. So I feel like it's not, I don't feel like it's somebody's ready to hey, to carry the title yet. Well, Keep it on Roman for now, because they got a little fine thing going with the bloodline. Well, the bloodline is complete. Time, it, it's complete. Like, exactly. You, so then when that got, time comes. You got that, uh, that thing the going, like, with, especially with Solo Sioki. That was wild. Sokoa? Like, that was wild. I couldn't believe it. That was wild. I'm like, I'm wow. like shit. And I think I've seen one of his matches before. He's really good. He's really oh, yeah. good in ring. Yeah. Really good in ring. Well, he got that Simone blood. Of course. I've seen he him. I've seen, it, blood seen one he, of his matches before. He's really good in ring. Shit. So he would do just fine with the bloodline. No, absolutely. He would do perfect with the bloodline. Listen, I want to see what what this, this man can do now. That he's with the bloodline. Me too. Like I want to see. Let Let's put a title. I want him like, to. I want him to be one of those. I want him to be. You know, the ferocious one of the bloodline. Roman Reigns is that leader. The enforcer. You know, the, exactly. The enforcer, the enforcer. You know, the one. The one that's not afraid to do something. The one that's not afraid to beat down the heel or the face. I want to see. I want to see that come. I don't out. know if I want to see uh, Braun Strowman fighting Roman again. Nah, like, they, had a, they, they had a good ride. They've had they some had great matches already. in the past. They had a good ride but already. But to go in, go at it again, I don't know. Unless Mr. McMahon definitely has something on his mind, that's going to be tough to call. That's mm. going to be tough to see that rivalry again. You mean, because, you mean Triple H? Yes, yeah, there you go. There you go. Sorry. Sorry. Mr. McMahon's not in the business anymore. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, it, it's just Vince McMahon always called the shots, and I was used okay. to Vince McMahon. You yeah, know, Vince McMahon, listen, Vince McMahon... Yep. I'm not taking anything away from him. Mm -hmm. He built an empire. He did. Of the WWE. Right. Brought in WrestleMania. Brought in the Royal Rumble. Mm -hmm. Survivor Series. All these pay-per-views. Like, it was epic. Epic the way he did. It was. With... A lot. It was very. It was epic. a lot. And I feel. I feel like you know like him and Braun. Him he and Braun don't need a, another rivalry because you know they had one in the past already, and that rivalry was good enough. I feel like it's time. You know, Braun has a rivalry with possibly somebody else now that he's back in the business, and I feel like it's time you give somebody else a chance to hold the titles again, so or to hold the titles. So. I don't know. Let's see what Triple H has in mind. You know, Triple H is working in very creative and mysterious ways right now. So we don't know what's going to happen. And I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen because Triple H has been on a roll <clears throat> for these past few days or these past few weeks. So I'm hyped. I want to see. No, I want to see how. Hyped. I want to see where I'm WWE goes from here. Definitely hyped. I want to see where WWE to goes. To see where this is going to go. Me too. Like, there is no, no comparison Not at all. right now with, we need an RKO. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for Randy Orton to come back. Well, that's if he comes back. I, I miss Randy Orton. That's if he comes back. <laughs> I miss Randy Orton. Randy Orton is one of my favorite wrestlers, you know. Uh, hmm. I wonder what my list of favorite wrestlers are. Well, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued to see what's the next step that's going to happen. Me too. 
because if this is just the beginning of what Triple H is going to do, holy shit. Like I said, Triple H was the ace in the hole. Triple H was the person that WWE needed. He was their savior. He was the man that saved WWE. I'm going to forever stick to this. After oh, I agree. Were retired, he, I he agree. Priest Damian could Priest? Make a good match for Absolutely. Bob, Roman? Absolutely. Definitely. Absolutely. Most and definitely. I would love to see it. I would love to see it. And Damian Priest right now is a heel. He's a heel, but I would love to see him as a face. Me too. Damian, like, wait, he, Damian he was a face, Priest? but to go against Damian Priest to go up against Roman Reigns. As a face. Exactly. But... But wrestling fans, our time <laughs> is up here. I know we were gonna go an hour and a half, but, but uh, we, we want to leave. You go, no, 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 we didn't. Yes, we, did. we just want to leave you in suspense because we want more things to talk about next week. So next week also is bringing our Evolution of Pro Wrestling Award Show. Please feel free to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. We Wait, do what am I every, doing? Well, I, I got my Hulkamania shirt on. He got, yeah, he, he got his Evolution yeah, of Pro Wrestling uh, shirt on. Uh, the, the so, but uh, thank you, wrestling fans, for joining us. It felt so good to be back. It felt so good to talk to the fans. And for myself, Lewis, the Encyclopedia of Pro Wrestling. And Jay, the whiz kid of Pro Wrestling. And from our lovely director, producer, my wife, Yesenia, it's good to be back. Again, wrestling fans, next week. We have, we finally will have the award show. Yes, we finally will have the award show. And I cannot wait for the award show because the award show is going to be absolutely fun. And we do have many categories. We do have many categories. Many categories that is going to happen. We do. And to name one, The Undertaker. The Undertaker the is Undertaker definitely there. one. We will do Roman Reigns. Wait, yes. As you see, we are... Talking to you fans right now, you know, we're conversating with our fans. It has been a little while since we've talked to you guys. So, you know <laughs> Excuse me. How you guys been doing? Yes, they're just gonna stare. you still you, you still coughing? You talking about me coughing? You don't, you don't hear that? Is that you? That's not me. Is that you? No. Really? What the hell are you doing? I'm not doing anything. I'm right here sitting next to you. What the hell does that mean? Where the hell the music's coming from? Why would it be me? I didn't do anything. What is that? For real? Dad, I don't know. What? Whoa! Alright, I'm out of here, Dad. I gotta go. Yo, why are the lights off? I don't know. Tell me you put that there. Dad, I didn't do anything. I'm standing here next to you.